Let me show you how to knit the tiny pumpkin pattern. Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com. For more information and a list of supplies, visit the website. All right, let's begin with the drawstring cast on. I'm using a 24 peg loom and two strands of worsted weight yarn and I'm going to secure that yarn to the anchor peg with a basic knot. You can do a slip knot if you're more comfortable. Then take the working yarn between the first and last peg and we're going to zigzag with that working yarn through every other peg until we've gone through the whole loom. When you get back to the front of the loom, you're going to take the working yarn and go behind peg one and lay it loosely over the next few pegs. And you can see how the working yarn went in and out and peg one is empty. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to knit off every peg that has two loops. So you take the bottom over the top and knit off and take that working yarn and again lay it over the next few pegs and continue to knit off every peg with two loops and you'll notice that it is every other peg. Keep going. When you knit off peg 24, you're done with your cast on and you're ready for row one where you're just going to knit the row. Peg one does not have a loop, so you're gonna take your yarn and lay it flat over pegs one and two, and then you're gonna knit off peg two. And we're using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch, so you half wrap and knit off, and then you're going to your next peg and you're going to do the same thing you're going to half wrap the peg and knit off now just continue you need to knit all of your pegs once you knit off peg 24 you're done with row one and you're ready for row two, but before you leave, you should take the knot off that anchor peg because your yarn is now secure and you don't need to do that. All right, cool. Now we're ready for row two where you're going to do a purl one, knit three. Pattern repeat. To create a purl, just put your yarn underneath the existing loop. From the top, take your hook, scoop up, and create a new loop. Take the old loop off. Put the new loop on the peg and pull your working yarn. That was your purl one and here are your three knit stitches. That's one. We're going to do two right here and again we're still using the U-wrap version of this knit stitch and here is the third. That is your four stitch repeat and so we're going to do it again. Purl one and knit three. And you're going to continue to do this four stitch repeat until the end of your loom. For rows 3 through 21, you're just going to repeat row 2 19 more times. So just keep knitting that knit 1, purl 3. When you're done knitting those rows, you're ready for row 22 where you're just going to knit. You know that you continue to use the U-wrap version of the knit stitch and I'm not going to go into great detail because at this point, you're an expert. Now you're ready for the cast off and so grab your working yarn and you're going to wrap it around your loom about one and a little bit. Then cut the working yarn and get your hook from the top. You're going to scoop up the yarn and feed it through the loop and just continue to do this for all 24 loops. So you get the hook from the top, scoop up the working yarn and feed it through. Continue. When you finish feeding the working yarn through all the loops, then you're ready to take the loops off the pegs.
after you remove all the loops from the pegs, then you're going to stretch your stitches and this is important for your fabric to look correct. Then you're ready to close your ends. So pull on either side, you pull the drawstring in order to close and you have two strands but you're going to sew with only one. So you're going to pull on it a little bit, go ahead and get a needle and you're going to um, attach the needle to one of these strands and then you're going to sew in a circular manner. So you're going to go through those loops that are on the top and every so often you're going to skip a few of them. This is going to help you to close the little opening um, nice and tight. You do need to go through this uh, opening so you're going to see me close it really tight but um, you might need to leave it open a little bit especially if your needle is really blunt. It may not go through that opening um, but I have a metal needle and so I'm closing mine really nice and tight and uh, I'll be able to feed my needle through. And then I stuff it with polyfill because I did knit with two strands as one um, I'm going to fill this nice and tight uh, I'm going to use this as a um, placeholder and I'm going to put some attachments on the top and so I want it nice and strong and again on the other end I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to get the um, one strand of yarn with my needle and I'm going to sew in a circular manner on the top part of um, the project and as I sew around I skip a couple of loops every so often again because this is what's going to help you um, to close this nice and tight and I continue to go around and I skip a few and again that's closing that opening and then I get two of the strands and I make a knot if your needle is plastic don't do this as much because we're going to go through that little opening um, on the top, right? So I push my needle through and I'm going, this is the purl section of the project. And I'm going from side to side, picking up the little loops. Um, not all of them, just side to side and I skip. And then I'm going to go all the way to the top. And like I said, I'm going to feed it through the little hole and clear through to the other side to where the other opening was I'm going to feed it through and I'm going to tighten as I do that um, because I'm giving shape to uh, the fabric that's how I get the pleat on the side is after I do this after I feed the yarn through the purl section through every other little loop on it I then uh, feed it back through to the other end of the pumpkin and then um, I pull on that string nice and tight again to give the pumpkin that shape that it needs otherwise it just looks like a round ball and um, that's not what you want right you want it to look like a pumpkin so you cannot skip this section and you need to do this through all of your purl sections see how it's giving its shape and see how the other side doesn't have it well you need to have it on both sides all right and then once you're done and you've done all of your purl sections you're ready to cut all of this excess yarn and uh, clean up your little project cut off all that excess yarn and then I'm going to add to mine um, this little piece of stem that I found in the backyard and my pumpkin is done if you want one that's a little more elaborate this one is in the written pattern it includes the leaf and the stem alright guys that's it I hope you enjoyed this video remember to comment like and subscribe